Yo, Pamela, I feel as stretched as a thin noodle. This year's almost over, but there's so much happening. This time of year always feels busy, Ryan. How can I help de-noodle you? Maybe we can break down what's happening in the world? You got it. I'm Pamela Kirkland. And I'm Ryan Willard. It's Tuesday, December 13th. This is the 10 News. Here are 10 things you need to know right now. First up, Warnock for the win. The last 2022 U.S. midterm results are finally in, following the Senate runoff in Georgia. Democrat Raphael Warnock has won, giving Democrats a majority in the Senate. Epic Games also wins big. At the Game Awards, Elden Ring was the biggest winner and took home Game of the Year. God of War Ragnarok, Stray, Horizon Forbidden West, Multiverse, Splatoon, and Kirby and the Forgotten Lands also won big awards. God of War voice actor Christopher Judge won Best Performer and was given the award by Oscar winner Al Pacino. hoo Rocketing to the moon. NASA's last visit to the lunar surface was 50 years ago. But this weekend, the Orion Space Shuttle returned from a mission to the moon. Although no one was on board the shuttle this time, the mission marks the first step to putting astronauts back on the moon, possibly as early as 2025. Launch sequence activated. Goblin Mode wins Word of the Year. The Oxford English Dictionary always chooses a Word of the Year, and for the first time, members of the public got to vote. The people have spoken. The winner this year is the phrase goblin mode. That's where you cozy up in your sweatpants, put your hood up on your hoodie, eat snacks, and live like a goblin for a little while. Oh my gosh, I've been living in goblin mode my whole life. Wondering, where's Wonder Woman? The third Wonder Woman movie has reportedly been canceled by Warner Brothers. The studio is changing the direction DC films are headed, which might also affect the upcoming Superman releases, as well as The Flash. Okay. World Cup date. Over the weekend, the World Cup quarterfinals were held in Qatar. In the worldwide soccer tournament, Morocco beat Portugal, France won against England, Argentina beat the Netherlands, and in a huge upset, Croatia knocked out world favorite Brazil. Semifinals will see France take on Morocco and Argentina versus Croatia. China chills on zero COVID policy. In response to protests, the Chinese government is relaxing the current zero COVID policy. The loosening of the strict rules is good news for citizens as well as the Chinese economy. Way to go. It's time for Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Time Magazine has named their Person of the Year for 2022. And it's Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Time chooses the person they believe had the biggest impact on what happened that year. And Zelensky has been the face of Ukraine's strong resistance to the Russian invasion. High five. An ancient ecosystem, the oldest DNA ever, has been sequenced. Samples taken from Greenland showed that it was once bursting with life. Two million years ago, many different species of plants and animals called the now icy island home. Using new DNA technology, scientists can give us a clearer picture of the ancient world. Wow! Griner goes home. WNBA star Brittany Griner has finally been released by Russia in a prisoner exchange with the U.S. The U.S. released a Russian arms dealer so that Griner could come home to her family after 10 months being imprisoned on unreasonable charges. Welcome home, Brittany. And that was the 10 things you need to know right now. Check out tomorrow's episode for our roundup of the best video games and movies of 2022. I'm Pamela Kirkland. And I'm Ryan Willard. Thanks for listening to the 10 News. Data transfer complete. Hello, I'm Molly Bloom, host of the Brains On podcast, a show for curious kids and adults. Each week, a different kid co-host joins me to find answers to fascinating questions like, can you dig a hole to the center of the earth? Do plants have feelings? And why do we lie? You can listen to Brains On wherever you listen to podcasts.